Hello and welcome to 3 dot OTV. I am Shikha Singh. Leading watch by digital assets moved higher this morning, led by Bitcoin's latest rally to 17 month high, which was triggered by the Federal Reserve's decision to keep interest rates unchanged. The rate setting committee FOMC pulled no surprises on Wednesday as it kept a policy on hold but promised a continued focus on bringing inflation to heel. Let us have a look at the buzzing coins of the day. Nine Technologies has partnered with Near Foundation to integrate end to end encryption and metadata privacy safeguards into the layer one blockchain ecosystem. The partnership aims to obscure user traffic and enhance privacy for users and validators. Nine's chain agnostic mixnet privacy infrastructure will enable users to interact with NFTs, DeFi protocols, and DApps in a private manner, shielding user activity from malicious entities. The Nine mixnet secures transactional data and personal information by segmenting data into encrypted packets and dispersing them via a global network of nodes. This method obfuscates users' online activities, making it more challenging to de-anonymize individuals through metadata pattern tracking. The Near Foundation supports NIME's vision for Web3 privacy and supports its early development via the Open Web Collective, a Web3 incubator sponsored by the Near Foundation. Near was trading at $1.46, up near 9% in the last 24 hours. Next on the list, we have XRP. Ripple Labs has moved 70 million XRP to capitalize on the surges in its ongoing lawsuit against the SEC, uh, making XRP a popular choice for investors. Ripple, a digital payment protocol, has unlocked 1 billion XRP from its escrow accounts following a standard procedure since December 2017. The release was carried out through three separate transactions causing market fluctuations. The first transaction released 100 million XRP or tokens valued at $59.98 million, followed by two more releasing 400 million and half billion tokens respectively, valued at $239.92 million and $299.9 million. The price of XRP experienced a temporary 3% drop but quickly recovered and currently trades with a marginal decrease of 0.8% from Tuesday's closing price. In conclusion, Ripple Labs' recent moves and the recent price rally have led to significant gains for investors in the XRP and Solana crypto markets. XRP was trading at $0.6, up near 1% in the last 24 hours. Next on the list, we have Solana. The crypto market has become a hub of activity driven by macroeconomic events and optimism. Solana and Altcoin has managed to stand out in performance recovering from the collapse of FTX, one of its largest holders. On November 1st, Solana's price stood at $38.90, a 22.47% increase over the past week. This comes amid a significant community event and a sense of optimism among investors. The Breakpoint 2023 conference held from October 30th to November 3rd, 2023 has significantly impacted Solana's metrics, driving its price back to its pre-FTX collapse price. The bankruptcy of FTX had a significant impact on Solana as it was one of the largest holders of SOL. The collapse led to a ripple effect on the broader Solana ecosystem, plummeting SOL prices. Despite concerns about FTX's significant holdings, SOL has recovered steadily over the past 11 months. The Solana Foundation's development has boosted the community's confidence in the project. Solana's recent performance shows resilience and potential as a long-term player in the crypto space. Solana was trading at $43, up 12% in the last 24 hours. Next on the list, we have Hashflow. Hashflow, a leading multi-chain decentralized finance trading protocol, is set to enable fees on its platform to generate its first revenue stream and provide additional benefits to its community of HFT token stakers. The Hashflow DAO will direct this revenue sharing format which distributes proceeds from trading fees among token stakers and the Hashflow Foundation. Starting today, a nominal fee will be included on each trade executed on Hashflow, with the fee model being dynamic and based on the asset pair trade The fee will be baked directly into the price code paid automatically when the trade is executed and trackable on-chain. The fee distribution will be 50% to HFT stakers, 30% to the community treasury for HFT buybacks, and 20% to Hashflow Foundation for operation expenses. Protocol revenue from trading fees collected will be distributed to token stakers on a monthly basis. 
Hashflow has facilitated over $17 billion of trading volume since its launch in April 2021. HFT was trading at $0.29, up near 13% in the last 24 hours. Last on the list, we have TokenFi. TokenFi, a protocol token launched by the meme coin Floki, has experienced a 41.6% price increase in 24 hours with investors pouring over $5.7 million into the token. The token, which was launched on October 31st, has outperformed several cryptocurrencies since its launch. TokenFi is a platform developed by Floki to capitalize on the booming tokenization market, which is projected to reach $16 trillion by 2030. However, recent issues surrounding the token, such as accusations between TokenFi protocol team and BitGert, have impacted the token's market value. The token has attracted 11.74 thousand holders and is currently trading at $0.027. TokenFi was trading at $0.04, up near 65% in the last 24 hours. That's it in today's special segment. For more such updates, follow 3.0TV or log on to our website www.3verstv.io or scan the QR code to know more.